Extensive sheep farming is under severe pressure because of theft and predation and therefore it is inevitable that sheep farming needs to, to change. Because of these changes, there's a growth in, in knowledge. We implemented the MILS, the Mamre Intensive Lambing System, according to project management principles. We run a eight project plan simultaneously on our farm. We divided our herd into eight groups. All the use in the herd is on an eight month cycle and every group is um, individually synchronized so they, they can lamb every month. So on our farm we lamb every month of the year, we synchronize use every month of the year and we wean lambs every month of the year. And this helps with the cash flow of the farm. The intensive system can be treated as either micro or macro. It depends on the farming operation and also the farmer himself. There are several factors that is important in making this decision. The first thing is the lambing pen facility should be large enough to accommodate the group of ewes that lamb every month at the same time. The changes from extensive system to an intensive system must be handled with, with caution and the cash flow and the adaptation of the animals is probably the most important element to make this system successful. In this system, quality of feed is more important than quantity of feed. We say that you must start small, get used to the system and also adapt your animals to the mill system before you run a full-scale operation. The mills project plan runs on activities throughout the year and every project plan has got specific activities that should be done for us to actually get the eight, all the use on the eight month cycle. I'm going to explain in more detail only at one project plan. We're going to run from the front to the back to the weaning of the lambs. If we look at the first activity in the mills, the project plan, and that is the preparation of the rams. Rams are very important in this system. If you don't have fertile rams, you won't have any lambs. So it's very important that the rams should be tested every year and more frequently if possible. The rams should, should be tested every time they come to the kraal for, to see that the feet is right, the testicles are fine and that their teeth is still good condition so that they can, they can eat. RAM should be in a three to three and a half condition score and a good condition score make sure that the RAM will be in a good condition to, to make with the use. If we look at the preparation for the use for the system, it is important to make sure that the ewe has been weaned from her lamb and that she's in an upwards progress conditioning score. She must be between three and a half to four condition score to make with the RAM. We use technology for mating with our ewes, so we use sponging or synchronization on all our ewes. All our ewes are in an eight month cycle, so we use sponges to make sure that they will, will have their lambs in five to seven days uh, every month. The sponges stay in, inside the ewe for 14 days, and after the 14 day period, we, we remove the sponges. We've got a summer and a winter program and it's very important to do that winter and summer program with hand rearing or hand mating because the ram must work in summer during the, the night time when it's not cooler and during daytime when it's winter. At this stage on Mamre we don't use hand mating anymore, we make use of laparoscopy. With the laparoscopy um, AI that we use, we make use of a vet to come and do it for us. It is for us very important to make sure that the rams that we use for laparoscopy is the best rams that we can get in the market. It is also very important to realize at this stage that the amount of rams that you're going to use for your laparoscopy procedures will be much less than if you do uh, normal mating extensively. It is therefore very important that if you buy a ram, that you buy the best quality ram that you can use because this ram will mate with all the use that's in, the, in, in that cycle 
and all the lambs will be from that one ram. So it's very important not to make a mistake with this. After the laparoscopy, it's now important to know that how many of your ewes fell pregnant from the laparoscopy. And our mating rate uh, with the laparoscopy is 84 to 87%. So it's very important to, to scan your ewes very early so that you can detect which ewes are not pregnant so that you can move them to a next group and to get them pregnant as soon as possible. It's also important with scanning to know which of your ewes are going to lamb with one lamb, single lambs, twins, triplets or quadruplets so that you can make precision planning for the feeding of these ewes and make sure that they will be in a good condition score to rear those babies. After the ewes have been scanned, they will go to the big group and they will stay in that group until six weeks before lambing. Six weeks before lambing, we go to the felt, we go and fetch the our ewes and we dose them, we inoculate them with all the inoculation that, that needs to be done and then they are kept in a small camp where they get used to the feeding that we're going to use in the lambing pens and we make sure that everything is right at this stage. We don't do any other activities at this stage, we just leave them so that the lambs can grow inside and the placentas can develop uh, normally and also the udders can fill up with, with milk. With a laparoscopy you know exactly the date when these lambs are going to be born. So a week before the, the date for lambing we start cleaning and preparing our lambing pens. It's very important to make sure that you clean your lambing pens every time before you goes into the lambing pens to prevent any outbreak of disease. That will be disastrous in the system. We wash our lambing pens every month with F10 or any solution that you can, can get to, to make sure that there's no bacterial growth. We wash all the, the feeding troughs, we wash the water buckets and we make sure that the floors are clean. We use lime on the floors to make the area alkaline, so to prevent any bacterial growth. For the bedding in the lambing pens we use pine shavings. Pine shavings has got turpentine in the wood. It's a natural prevent preventative for, for flies, so to make sure that there's not, not flies in your lambing pens, we use pine shavings. We are standing inside the Sweet Valley Mamre Dormer uh, lambing pens. Our ewes have been put in the lambing pens um, on Friday. They started lambing on Monday. We usually, uh, with the laparoscopy, we start on a Monday. So my ewes always start lambing on a Monday. But to get them used to the lambing pens and the people and everything that we have to do here, we put them in on a Friday. So the Monday when they start lambing, they, they are used to the environment, the sound, and the nature of the environment that they're going to lamb in. As soon as the babies are born, uh, it takes about uh, three to seven days for all the ewes to deliver all the, the lambs. Um, then we let them stay with their lambs in the lambing pens for another 10 days. So we only take them out after 10 days, the last lamb that was born. And then we only take them out to small camps where they can be in um, fencing with, with um, where the jackal can't com come through. On day seven, if the last lamb was born, the, the last lamb is seven days old, we put the elastic bands on the tails. We mark all, all our lambs. We make sure that they're drinking well and that the bonding process was, was good. Day 10, we start taking the ewes out of the lambing pens. We start with the single lambs and their mothers and then after that we take out the... The lambs in the lambing pens start to eat with the mother in, in the buckets at about three days, three to five days. We, we give the ewes, after they come out of the lambing pens, we give them their full feed ration and we start with creep feeding with the lambs. When the lambs are seven weeks old, we start with the drying up process of the mothers. We stop their protein leak totally and we only give them roughage to help with the drying up of the udder. The, the lambs are still getting their full creep feed at this stage. The wean date 
at eight weeks is the first day of the next project plan. This is what makes the mills a profitable and working system.